Hi guys, my name is Spluffy. Um, I haven't made a video for a week, and I promised I'll try and make a video per week, and I have equity time right now. So, when I last made a video, which was about a week ago, I think I had around like four hundred eleven thousand. And speaking of you, maybe about a week later, I don't know. Graphs are so confusing sometimes in time. But I'm currently at five hundred thirty thousand. I have surpassed half a million. I still don't know why I have a lucky cat badge, and I have gotten the five hundred k badge. Um. And, um, I unfortunately have not been able to trade a single thing since two days. And I just recently, I just like a couple of seconds ago, I just completed another trade. I'll show you what I got. It was actually a kind of a big trade. Um, I had a Telemax on me. Now this is not the exact Telemax that I had. It was a different serial. It got projected. And, um, whoever, I mean, I, I had my Telemax on sale for like AK. The bots did not buy it, but looking at my transactions, someone purchased it for eight point, basically 8.7 K from me. And I got like. A ton of robux from that and i basically um i basically bought some stuff and okay i'm scrolling in too far here but i bought some cool stuff with it and i'll show you i'll tell you what i bought so i bought true patriot for about 1k above its wrap now the reason i bought it is because if y'all look right here i got a serial 500 out of 500 to me that's a pretty big flex and the other thing I bought was a post, was this portrait, because these portraits are mass hoarded by bots. So I ended up buying those two just to increase my wrap and just to get a flex cereal. I did it because I, I never owned a last cereal before, but yeah. And let's go ahead and look at the trades that I've completed. Okay, so this is the trade. This is the last trade in my next video. So the first trade I did is I gave my Diamond Crystal Circle for a, a, my 6 Mayor Summer cereal 22. I never thought I'd get a 6 Mayor Summer. Apparently, this comes from Zara's Horde. So, um... It's kind of ironic that I'm ending up getting some of her items that she's owned, like my radioactive man comes from her, my serial 90. And this exact serial comes from Zara Glows, I'm pretty sure. But no one gives 7k for this garbage crystal at Circle It, so I ended up taking it just because I can get a 6 one, and it's been doing so well. It's been selling for nearly 10k now at this point, so yeah. Um, Next trade, so... Um, funny thing, I got this item in, and the next day it gets projected. That was such, that was such a beautiful score right there. This person would not have given me the alien bird for this. He would have had the project in his inventory to begin with. So that was, like, pretty much easy profit. Pirate Center for this, because this is, like, literally 2k, but it was, like, 2.5k, and then all of a sudden it gets LPP'd. And, but, yeah, I, I got that Pirate Center for my last flip in my other video. Uh, ended up going for projectives. Another person was trying to fight me for this projectives, but this guy gave a terrible offer, and I gave a and to her I gave a better offer, so she ended up accepting mine. So that was a really lucky. I ended up right away flipping that hair for an incredibly good profit with the hair, even though no one really gives nine k for this hair. I still whatever. Unfortunately, that hair has been doing un unfortunate really badly. So, yeah. Um, I sent this guy a trade. He wanted to do another trade, like just accept or decline. And unfortunately, I mean, well. Fortunately, he accepted, but my friend Wolflock, he had like eight of these crossbows, and he unfortunately something happened to him, and he lost all of them. You should go to his channel, subscribe to him. He's a really cool dude. We are really good friends. Um, so I was like trading for maybe three hours. I was having absolutely no luck flipping this Columbia, so I ended up just taking this offer with another projected in it. And the reason I did is because, first of all, Winter Bowler, I don't know why, but this item is just freaking selling so high and just has like literally no resellers so i was like you know what it's another bowler item i might as well go for it. i mean look at this six thousand five hundred how many sellers does it have <sighs> shake my head <laughs> literally so that's the entire reason i went for it i mean like bruh 7k it's already been selling for this high i mean people are willing to buy it for that high i mean might as well might as well score myself one what serial 491 yeah Okay, now this is just a stupid trade. This person, this Candy Crusher Horde guy, he has 60 of these. Now, I don't even know if he has any of them anymore. I don't know if he dropped the Horde. Candy Crusher seems to still be selling above wrap with not that many restars. But this this guy, he really wanted my Deluxe. And I was like, okay, I don't know, offer, man. And, like, this, I got a message from this guy. He was saying, raise Deluxe to 70k. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do that because there's a couple of people who are not going to do that. Uh, wink, wink, Zara. She does not change her prices unless she, for some reason, does. But... I was like, would you do Green Bandit a small and two Candy Crushers? And he was like, yes, send me. I was like, bruh, really? So I ended up taking the Green Bandit. I took two low cereals, a cereal 5 and a cereal 10, like out of 500. These are incredible good flexes, especially the cereal 5. I've only owned a cereal 7 before. Like, in terms of what cereals I've owned, 
I have now owned a Serial 5. I already have a Serial 10 King of Mardi Gras. I've owned a Serial 10 Pan Spectrums. And I now own a Serial 10 of this and Serial 5. I've also owned a Serial 7, Sword of the Seas, but this was incredibly good. Unfortunately, Green Bandit has been tanking so much, it's just unbelievable. But I managed to incredibly lucky flip this item and get all three of these, all four of these, for incredibly, such a good flip. I mean, I was incredibly lucky. This is the only item I still have out of this flip, is the Ninja Bandolier. And, and since I thought, and I, I just went for the double dip, and I literally got this trade accepted as well. Um, stupidly good overpay on two Kings of Mardi Grasses with, uh, my friend Renny Swats. He overpaid, like, pretty much nearly 7k just for two of my grasses. And I told him, I'm not giving my cereal 10. Bro, you can have two of them, but I, I love this hat too much. Like, literally, I actually just decently like how the hat looks. So I was like, I'm gonna keep one. If you want my horde, then you can take two of them. So, yeah, that's why I didn't keep dual spec for so long. But I got that dark masquerade. I got a nice serial dark lord. I even got an ultra crimson. Like, this thing has to be so difficult to get thanks to Zara. And some bots are even still willing to hoard this thing. But, yeah, this also comes from Zara Glows. Funny enough. So, apparently she's willing to break down her hordes a bit just for her own gains. But, Zara is not that important here. Um, I did this trade because I like double rainbow. I'd rather have that over this. Projected lip flip, and I got a second spam cannon. That was incredibly lucky. I, I have never seen another spam can. I've never seen a spam can. I've only seen it, like, twice in Trade Hangout. Like, the bots, like, are seriously retarded. I mean, they have to go out of their way just to hoard 500 copy items. Like, shake my head. Um, I was walking around Trade Hangout, and all of a sudden, I see this, like, dream guy wearing this hat, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's an Oceanic Guard helmet. And I was like, bro, this is my chance. I can get a fourth one. I got a cereal. I got a gas station cereal, 7-Eleven. Whoop. Um... Um, this guy, like my last cereal, like I got that cereal 80 Oceanic Guard. This, this, the, like the guy with the cereal 80, he was a price trader just like this kid. I don't know if it's the same kid, but like, I was like, are you dumb? It's on sale for 3K. And I was like, oh, okay, I see how you're playing. I'm, I'm like, wait, wait a second. Isn't my Desert Warrior on sale for quite some rap? And then I went up just doing this trade. I mean, I know I overpaid, but like, bro, I have four of these. This thing is so hard to get. And then you gotta remember, I absolutely love Oceanic Guard Helmet. Now, this was just a beautiful trade. I mean, bro, I got an Alien Monarch. This is one of my most favorite hats, like, side-by-side -side with Oceanic Guard and American Woman. Like, bro, this item is just absolutely the best, one of the best items I've ever owned. I, I never believe, I never thought I'd get one by simply giving a bucket and a small. And no one gives 9K for bucket. And I'm, I'm kind of funny that this kid with a Valk just handed me a Monarch for, like, that. Just like that, bro. This thing sells for, like, above 10K, so it's kind of funny. So... I consider this a win since no one gives the value of bucket. I only have value items just to make my wrap rise higher. I did this because a Mary Cat sucks. Torque is hot. Torque is sexy. Torque is life. Invest into Torques or else you're stupid. Okay, now this was just absolutely stupid. I can't. I, I was so happy. Like I would be yelling right now, but I can't given my circumstances at the moment, like where I'm located. But. I can't believe I got a ball here. This thing was 1.5k. Someone ended up selling. Someone ended up buying this for 5k, and this item raised to rose to what 1.8k. I can't believe I got it for equal. I mean, this was 2k, but I got my first balther. And some of you traders are looking at this item right now. It's like, Spluffy. I have never seen this item before. What the hell is this item? I'm like, yeah, you probably have never seen this item. It's basically a 500 copy item, except it has like an extra 25. But this item took me five months just to get one. It's been five months. And I finally got one. Like, I discovered this item five months ago. This has to be like one of the last items I've ever discovered. It, um, Magic Dragon is the last item I've ever discovered. And Old Glory Wings is the first item I've ever discovered. So nice little trivia fact. Magic Dragon is the last item I've ever known about. And Old Glory Wings is the first limited I ever discovered on Roblox. Well, I didn't own Old Glory Wings, but... Got an overpay on a digital ninja, and I was like, bro, he really wanted it. He's trying to hoard this item. I was like, bro, it's got 30 copies, 30 premium copies. Like, good luck, bro. And I told him, if you want one, you can have one, but I'm not giving you that other one. I'm keeping it, bro. I genuinely like how this item looks, too. And I bought one of these. I bought my Serial 340 about, like, six months ago for 1.6K, and it's basically sold for 7K sometimes now. But I did the trade because this item, Otterhead Short Sword, I've really died to own for so long now, and I got... 35 premium copies. I got a chipper chap, which I also really like. And a noble hood. Like, honestly, beautiful. But, yeah. And it's also, items also on sale for 9k, just because of the stupid-ass bots. But, 
Going to the next trade, I woke up and I was extremely happy. Like I never, I didn't think this guy would accept my trade. Like he gave me a second ball, th like not the same guy, but I got a second ball Thor. I was so happy because now I own two of these incredibly hard items to get. And I also woke up to getting another 250 copy item for a freaking goal in green bling base. This was like 4.5k and it got LPP'd. So like, I'm look who's winning now, buddy. <laughs> I mean that wasn't unintentional. Um. This guy was like, can I flip your powder moon egg? I was like, it was like 2k. I was like, gladly. Like, he's like, I'll get Bolt Biter. He's like, deal. I'm like, bro, this item's worth like 1.5k. I don't know why it's like that low right now. Um, um, I went for a projected Reckoner. I actually really wanted a Reckoner and I ended up getting projected. Um, I really don't see 750 copy items get projected that often. Unless you're talking about like gold and specs. Because those are like, the items have been projected like twice so far. It's got 750. I also want a gold and specs. But yeah, I gave 3k and this guy accepted. And then I ended up getting an incredibly lucky trade. I got Ada for it. Now, unfortunately, I'm a bit afraid because like this person realized that he accepted a projected. And I'm just thinking to me right now, it's gradually becoming more and more difficult to flip projected. Like, I'm not even joking. I don't know about other people, but it's really just becoming difficult to flip projected. So if you're considering flipping projected now, you do not have a lot of wrap, like, don't try it. It's kind of risky. It's actually quite risky, especially if you go for a bad item. And you want to make sure you never give it. So that's just a little tip there. But like, if you're ever going to try flipping projected, like, and you're kind of a new trader, don't. Because it's going to be really hard on you. Unless you know what you're doing. Unless you like have a mindset of what you're going to do. And like right here, I was a bit afraid. I gave like 5k for this projected bull buyer's LPP. Keep that in mind. For this, and I was this was 12k, and I was a bit afraid because I thought I wouldn't be able to flip it. I was like, man, I just gave 5k for this item, like, bruh. And I wake up the next morning, and the same guy who I've like basically just accepted my trade, I was like, oh my gosh, bruh. Like, I thought I, I genuinely thought I wouldn't be able to flip this. Like, I was just, oh my god, I was literally crying myself to sleep because I was like, no, I just gave 5k for this item. Like, I, I, like, I, I was, like, so tired out. Like, I wasn't really intentionally giving this much, but, like, waking up, I mean, I was like, okay, 5K, I'm not going to complain. Definitely not going to complain. Like I said, this is the Telmax I still own. I've, I've held this item for nearly three days now. I still haven't been able to flip it. I got it when it was 10K, and it's already 7.5K. Though, I'm not going to complain if I don't flip it, but, like, I'd really like to because, first of all, um, if I don't flip it, I only gain, like, 2K because, like, I can only see this going down to, like, 3K. Actually, 2K. That's a bit of an understatement because this guy, this thing has like 2K copies. Um, I did the same trade with Yako. Uh, I just he just wanted to upgrade. He just wanted better items. So I was like, you know what? I'll give you this uh Sparkle Time hoverboard. That if you don't know, a while ago I used to collect all three of them. I used to have all three of them, except the kind of ruined when my motivation for just owning them just kind of died down. And then all of a sudden my pink Sparkle Time gets projected. I was like, oh yeah, okay, screw the hoard, get out of here. So, but. I was like, yeah, just give me my stuff back because I really need a downgrade. If you guys want to send me a downgrade, please send me downgrades. Like, you might be looking at me, okay, bro, Spell, if you have 153 limiteds, are you are you actually kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I need a downgrade. I don't have stuff to offer with, bro. Like, bro, this is not for trade. This is not for trade. Like, these, like, are not for, well, I mean, add as all, all my value items are for trade currently. Like, I need items to trade with, bro. Like, my inventory, like, pretty much, like, 80% of my inventory is just not for trade. I'm going to say 70% now that because I'm glad I started value trading again. But, yeah. I was like, give me that downgrade. I was like, sure. And I was like, yeah. Okay, let the, okay yeah. This was incredibly good because, first of all, I love Amber. Also, there's an Amethyst Emperor of the Sky. It's a, like a purple version. And it went up to 3K, and it's having such a difficult time going under. Like, what the hell, man? I now have an Amber and an Onyx. I also had an Aqua one. Aqua one, but I want to have all four of these. So I have an Onyx. Onyx is pretty. Onyx is supposed to be the rarest one, the most expensive one, but that Amethyst one for some reason is three K, even though it has like two K copies. Um, going to this one, this was a good trade because I mean I do I did buy that bouncing egg because because of its sellers. It's just so bad. It's just like I it could definitely raise because of its seller count. But I really this neon party mask is severely under what it should be worth. It was selling for like one point eight K. It just lowered, and I was like, you know what, give me that neon part. I just love this item in general, too. And you know what, this might get projected. I just, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. He, I actually, funny thing, I sent him the egg for the Snake Eyes Jays. He countered back, and he added that Robux. And I was like, you should have just accepted, bro. So, yeah. And this trade I completed about two days ago. So the only trade I actually managed to do today, like, look, the 25th, 27th, is this trade. I gave my Rosie for a Mardi Gras. This is actually the... 
the lowest premium, not the lowest, sorry, the highest premium co copy that can't, that can, I think can be found. Like, I think the next one's 238. And I was like, bro, I see you got that, that stupid grass sword on you. <laughs> Why don't I give you my rosy smile for that and some of your garbage eggs? And I was like, sure. And I was like, great, send me, bro. And it's like, no, you send me. I was like, okay, sure. But like, I'm not even afraid. I don't even have to flip this if I want. I love this sword, bro. And I, I, if, if, if anything, this thing's not going to go down 6K. So if anything, I'm profiting about 3K here. If anything, it's 250 copies. I mean, like, Granny's crossbow, like, that thing is 8K. So I'm assuming this thing is only going to go down, like, 8K. Unless the sellers are actually kind of, are actually quite stupid enough to do it. But I was like, bro, I don't want this. Give me the downgrade with the projected. Like, if I if I end up do profiting, I'd want, like, maybe 10K for the sword off of someone stupid enough. Like, I'll try to flip it. If I don't, I'm not complaining. Because, bro, this sword... One of the best swords I've ever owned. Right next to Otterhead, uh, short sword and Otterhead long sword, bro. If you got that Otterhead long sword, it's really projected. Send me it, bro. I will counter for your Otterhead long sword. Do it. Send me your Otterhead long sword right now. Send me your money. Send me your money. Donate to the to the um, to the Spellify dot org foundation dot exe dot not illegal website dot uh, China um, shipping company. Yes, donate. Thank you. No, I'm just kidding, but. Guys, um, if I make more trades, like with value trading and like flipping and stuff like that, I've been able to complete more trades and provide more content. So yeah, um, if you guys uh, like my videos, why don't you go watch some other ones and y'all have a beautiful day. I will see you guys later. Peace out.